Hi, so I don't know what I'll ramble on too much in this video. Um, should be only a one-parter because I don't know that there's really much I can say about this vehicle. But this is the 1992 Cobra Rat. And I just was noticing that Cobra symbol. Um, if you've been with G.I. Joe for a while, um, you can know already that there's so many times that this Cobra symbol is used. You know, this one to me is just a classic um, Cobra symbol, but it's been, you know, done in so many things, different forms. And so I don't know who the lady or the guy or group of people were back in the 80s that decided that Cobra was going to be the bad guys, but I'm so glad that they did because that just right there looks so cool to me. And the cool thing also, in my opinion, is you don't just have that um, molded Cobra symbol right there. You also get one on the other side. Um, there is a difference, though, between the two. And unfortunately, I only have one of these, but this is a flak rotor. And I tried to find out what flak means, so if anyone has any ideas what flak means, because um, I know there's another figure on the Cobra side that has flak uh, missiles, a backpack. Can't think of the name of the figure right now, but um, so yeah, I don't know what that word means. So if anybody knows, it'd be cool to find out. Um, so anyway, the, you would have two of these, but I only have one of them, so I'll have to go back and forth. But anyway, so there's you know a di kind of shape right there, and so there this kind of looks like an S, um, you know zigzag Z and that has to be put on a certain way but on this side it just basically stays right there but on the other side it's different you know same symbol same S and everything but this is actually the side with the launching thing and unlike most missiles or um, bombs or whatever usually they're spring-loaded and this one also is spring-loaded but just by putting it in it doesn't fire um, so as you can see pushing the lever and it doesn't fire um, I was also going to comment on this one is pretty hollow again just like the stellar stiletto um, and again most vehicles are hollow you know within side but for some reason the flak not flak, the tight, this rat, Cobra rat, and the um, Stella Stiletto, they just feel, the plastic just feels, I don't know, not cheap maybe, but it just doesn't feel like a G.I. Joe um, vehicle, but this was in the 90s, so maybe they already knew that the line was going to be canceled, I don't know. But anyway, um, so we'll show you underneath, but see, it's all pretty much empty. And I'll show you right here that these are supposed to spin because there's little um, spokes or whatever on the wheels. And they're supposed to spin those. But as you'll see, maybe it's just my rat here. But they don't always spin. And then I'm trying to show that there's... Um, a spring type thing sort of for the launcher right there and so what you do is you wind it up and again um, because I can't get it on camera you know one day when I'm able to really stand away and I can see the viewfinder maybe I'll be able to do that um, but what you do is you put it on there and then you twist it, and I'm only going to twist it twice. But you would keep twisting it, and the more you twist it, the more tension, and then it will fly up. And that's again why these, I'm assuming, are called flak, is because even though this is kind of a vehicle that is meant for the um, water, it also has air defense. And so we'll go ahead and try and fire it and hopefully you guys will see it so there didn't go too far but it 
if you did keep winding it, it would fly up in the air. So then we'll try and show you these moving. So they moved a little bit, but that's about it. And if you watch the commercial that Yojo.com um, has in the commercial, these things are just spinning like crazy. So I don't know how they did that. But um, so anyway, there's the Cobra Rat. It's kind of cool. We'll look at some of the stickers right there. And then the, that one's kind of graffiti painted. Nice Cobra symbols. I think the red and the um, even though it's coming off kind of pink because of the light probably this is actually more of a red and the red and the green looks cool I think it's kind of silly though if you look at the trademark right there because um, I guess Cobra you know even though they're a ruthless organization um, they don't want people ripping them off but anyway um, so yeah I don't know why they decided for this vehicle they had to put the trademark right there and then it's the same stickers on this side. And then I like how they talk about the vortex trigger. Um, <clears throat> and then they also did the same thing on the rat. Um, also another trademark. So I don't know why they chose to do that this time. And I don't don't think they ever did that anymore or before. So kind of interesting. Um, then there are these guns. They um, swivel out. And then, of course, this opens up. And kind of silly, I think at the time I decided to put dice in here. And I think it was only because of these things that I decided that um, dice should be in there. Um, so anyway, I think that's pretty much all I'll say for this video. So there's the 1992 um, Cobra Rat. Right. We'll see you all later. Bye.